Uh, my name is Mont Criddle. I'm a marriage and family therapist uh, here at TLSU and the director of our Senior House program. Senior House is a subcomponent of our young adult program here uh, that is designed for 17 and a half, 18 year old students who no longer really fit in an adolescent setting and aren't quite ready yet for a young adult setting. So typically our students at Senior House are there for three, maybe four months a little bit higher level of support, structure, and supervision as they are working their way towards one of our TLOS U young adult apartments. Most of our students at Senior House uh, are coming to us from a wilderness program, sometimes directly from home, uh, sometimes at other programs uh, that have been even you know, higher level of structure and support and they're ready now to kind of step into greater independence uh, and, and freedom. So um, most of our students are coming from you know kind of all over the place to Senior House as essentially a launching pad into the young adult program at Telos U. So it's a it's a real distinct niche of student um, that maybe just needs a little more time getting ready for that true young adult setting. Uh, and so they're here on this campus observing that, watching it, seeing what's happening for our students who are 18, 19, graduated, maybe have jobs, taking college classes. So it's it's designed purposely for that looking at it and watching it so that they can see, aha, that's what um, young adulthood looks like here at TLSU. Um, it's interesting, most 17 and 17 and a half year olds think, I'm ready, I've got it figured out, I'm turning 18 and I'm gonna do it, and in reality, they're, they're usually not ready. And so being on Senior House gives them a chance to, in real time, with their own eyes, go, oh, that's what it looks like to have a job in the community or be organized or start taking college classes and um, essentially they just end up being more prepared as they move in uh, to that true young adult setting. I can, th can think of many different students but, but in particular we've, we've had several students come here where both the student and the parents have essentially just kind of given up hope that they've, they've almost started to let go of the idea of you know our, our child may not graduate from high school, maybe we just go the route of the, of the GED, maybe you know we just move on to a job or something. And so um, once they're in this setting that is very, very processing friendly, where all of our classrooms, approaches, apartment, the, how we operate here, um, come through that lens of how do our students function um, and process information. Um, it's been really wonderful to watch this sense of relief and hope to kind of start to creep back into these students and their parents' lives when they go, oh wow, maybe getting back on track and graduating from high school or learning better self-management skills, organizational skills, planning things um, is hopeful. Not to mention what has then come along with that, which is the feelings of depression, anxiety, um, you know, low self-worth. Um, so it is a, it's a wonderful process to watch our students start to have that sense of hope and um, belief in themselves come back in as they realize, oh, I can do some of these things, I just have to do it in new, uh, you know, different ways that I've not done in the past.